Rubik the thingamajigger. And to start off, we're going to take you through a quick walkthrough so you know exactly what is happening as you're watching the real run. So it all starts with this phone that receives a call from Miss Lamana Kabata. The call will create vibrations, then sending the phone down the ramp, which will hit this car that will roll and knock the bottle of glitter glue off the edge of that surface. Then, once the glitter glue swings, it'll swing back, hitting these dominoes down. And as you can see on the last domino, we have a nail attached. The nail will then fall, hitting the balloon and popping it. And on the balloon, you see a ramp resting right now. And that ramp right now has a car on it. And then once the balloon pops and the ramp falls, the car will roll down and knock the inertia beads off the table. So it'll knock this barrier off right here, which is connected to the whole rest of the lot of the inertia beads. Uh, and then the last inertia bead is tied to a string and the string is connected to a pulley right here. So on one end, once this inertia bead falls off the table, the other end will be pulled up lifting this uh, plate that's sort of holding all the balls here. So once it's lifted and the balls are able to roll into this contraption, they'll go all the way down through all these fun little <coughs> traps and finally they'll end up going through the hole into this cup. And as you saw before, this cup is connected to a pulley by this rope here goes all the way and on the other side of the rope it's connected to this purple barrier so once the marbles land inside this cup right here it'll the weight will be heavy enough to pull the cup down and the cup will lift up this barrier allowing this uh, school bus which has been rolled up to this point we've we wound it up but once this lifts up it allows the school bus to travel through and as you see here at the end of the school bus there is a rope and once this rope is fully extended, um, we have a key here that is connected to a catapult. And when you remove this key, it'll allow the catapult to launch, launching the marshmallow into projectile motion all the way into the pr uh, subject's mouth. And that is the objective of Rube Goldberg, to get this marshmallow right here into that guy's so now I'm going to talk to you about the grade 11 physics concepts that we've applied here in our machine. So the first unit that we applied was the forces unit. And you can see it in multiple steps of our system, but the first one here is when this car is able to knock over this tube of glue here because of the force it exerts on the glue. And the second spot is down here with the inertia beads. Um, because in Newton's first law, he described the concept of inertia and how something in motion will want to stay in motion, and you'll see that demonstrated when we let the beads do their work. The second unit we have in our system is the unit of kinematics, and it can be demonstrated here with this car. When this ramp is allowed to fall because the balloon pops, the car is allowed to accelerate, and that's an application of kinematics right there. The third unit we demonstrated was the unit of waves and sound, and that's shown here when this glitter glue is able to fall and create a transverse wave on this pendulum by swinging back and forth, and uh, this wave could then be graphed onto a sinusoidal curve. Now we're going to explain some energy conversions seen within our Rube Goldberg, and the first is when this phone starts to slide down the ramp. Here we see kinetic energy being transformed into thermal energy because of the friction between the phone and the wood. Energy conversion we see is in this balloon. Right now it is holding some elastic potential energy and then once it is popped, some of that energy will be converted into sound energy. Another energy conversion seen is when we have these inertia beads falling and this piece will fall and we see there that there's kinetic energy when it's moving and as it hits the floor a sound is made which shows a conversion to sound energy. Our fourth energy conversion is demonstrated by these marbles which right now have potential energy because of gravity and then once they are released and allowed to travel down this path 
the energy that is gravitational will then be converted into kinetic. Our last energy conversion is elastic potential energy, which you see is stored here in these elastic bands, which is then converted into kinetic energy once the key is released and it lets the catapult go. So now if we take a look at the simple machines inside our system, the first one we have is an inclined plane right here. The second one we have is inside this car. There's two wheels connected by an axle or a rod in the middle, which is an example of a wheel and axle machine. And the third one we have is a pulley right here, one pulley over here, and one over here. The fourth type of simple machine is a lever we have here. This is the fulcrum and the lever is rotating about that fulcrum to make the catapult launch. Take 40.